for those who don't know me i am an educator and this is my youtube channel in which you are going to find different videos about how to use online tools effectively for teaching so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use concept board it is a great tool to use while you are teaching online for example i use teams with my students and we use during our online meetings on teams we use concept board in order to have a discussion and write our or document our ideas and work all together on one platform where everyone can see each other's work and comment on it and this is a great tool for effective discussions online all right so first thing we go to www.conceptboard.com we press on sign up write your names and your last name write your emails and create your password if you don't have an account and then you are ready to sign up all right welcome to concept board so before we actually create our own board i want to share with you these ready-made templates i personally love them because they save you a lot of time you can choose uh, tables, flowcharts, and lots of different options that you have. All you have to do is just drag it and post it. We're not going to do that right now because we're going to create our own. Also here you have other templates and these templates are beautiful. You can use them for uh, different activities and different purposes. So today we are going to create a very simple ice breaking activity. I'm pretty sure most of you, if not all of you, are familiar with this. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. I'm really not focusing a lot on the activity itself in my videos right now. I'm just focusing on the tool that you can use. But later on, I will be focusing more on different activities and thinking routines that you can actually use using these tools. First thing you might want to do is pick a white sticky note. This is what I personally do. And I make it big and wide. And of course, this is very important, always pin your sticky notes so that other participants or learners or wh whoever is using it so that they don't actually move it around. Now we're going to write the title, Two Truths and a Lie. You can use, you can change the color, you can use different fonts. And of course, once you're done, make sure you pin it. Ask your learners to choose the sticky notes that they want. You can either put uh, some of the sticky notes on the side and they can drag them and use them of course of different colors or they can make up their own anyways all they have to do is just choose a color and write their names on one of them we're gonna have an example now let's say his name or her name is x i exercise every day i read three books every week and the third one i travel twice this year definitely a lie and then you of course pin them another student will come and pick another sticky note with a different color on it, they will write their names and they will just write the three examples. Now before we continue, I just want us to explore a little bit together some of the things that you can use. You can actually use the scribble pen to write or draw on the board instead of typing. And of course, obviously, you can use the eraser to erase. You can use the select button to uh, you double click on the sticky notes so that you can edit it or type on it. The last thing is the hand button. If you want to move the board around, you can just use the hand button to do that. Also, you can use the line button. I actually love this tool a lot because if you want to create a table or you want to uh, connect the sticky notes to each other or and you have these dots that you can see here, that makes it very easy for you to connect the sticky notes with each other. So all you have to do is just pick one of these line lines that you have and extend it from one dot to another and it will automatically connect. If you ask the learners now to decide whether these statements are true or false, they can um, press on the comment button, write their comments on the sticky notes. So for example, here you can write, this is a lie because, and then you press on save and that's it. Now, if you want to share this, we cannot share this activity if we do not rename the board. Of course, I always forget to do that. So let's rename the board first. We're going to call it Icebreaking Activity. So we go to Access Settings. Now here, there are a couple of things that we need to pay attention for. Number one, make sure you decide if you want your students to view or to edit. If you want them to edit this 
board and like obviously this is what they were go going to do here you need to press on editor instead of reviewer and now you have two options it's either you copy the link on the chat box on teams google classroom or zoom or wherever you are having the meeting or you can send it on CISO or like whatever platform you're using or you can scan the QR code and post it in class if they are coming to class. I don't personally recommend setting passwords especially for little learners because it's going to waste a lot of time and they're gonna get confused writing the password so I, I just set the password off press on done and we're done that's it Thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful stay tuned for other videos where i can show you how to use different online tools and show you how you can implement different thinking routines into these online tools don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel bye